Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bass.com and in this video we're going to do the unboxing for this Xperia Tipo Android phone. And before opening the box, I want to thank uh, Faisal Communications for providing this unit for review. Do note that this Tipo comes in two models, that's with the dual SIM and a single SIM. The one I have here is a dual SIM model, but it is exactly similar to the single SIM model. And this is the most affordable Android phone by Sony that comes pre-installed with ICS. And uh, the packaging, as if you see, is very small. And here it says that uh, we do get free 50 GB of cloud storage. Uh, that's for lifetime, courtesy of Box. And it says Sony Xperia Tipo. And uh, there are not a lot of specs given on the box. It just says that it has a 3.2 inch megapixel rear camera, 800 megahertz processor, again a 3.2 inch screen and it can do video recording it has a gps and track id and uh, the pricing info here it's listed as 10499 in india but you can get this uh, dual sim model for just less than 10000 and the single sim model that's the xperia tipo uh, would be around uh, somewhere around 9200 uh, or something like that now let me quickly break the seal and this is the seal let me break it and let's see what else do we get in the box very peculiar packaging i would say just everything is just bundled here first we get the micro usb cable uh, nothing great uh, earphones we get uh, let me put to the side and this is the phone itself and uh, the charger and uh, this is the indian pen and we have the usb slot over here and we do get a couple of booklets we get a battery also let me see what is the milliampere rating of this battery it says it's the sony bs 700 and uh, it's 1500 milliampere battery so that's pretty nice for a budget uh, android phone we are getting a 1500 milliampere battery so sony has done a very good job with that and what is this uh, i think so this phone accepts a micro sim so that's for the same and we get a adapter we actually get two adapters yeah because it's a dual sim we also get a screen guard that's pretty nice inside this is the screen guard you can apply and what else it says the sim card and here it says the sim card it requires a standard side sim card and if you're using a micro uh, sim card then we need that adapter and this is the startup guide sony warranty certificate pretty small some in more literature sar info so let me keep all this uninteresting stuff back and let's have a look at the phone itself and we do and this is the phone itself it's uh, black and the rear facing camera it does not have led flash and it just says xperia at the back uh, let me try to open the back cover we have an indent over here so i have just opened the back cover and as you can see it's a dual sim so you can add two sim cards that's two gsm cards and also we have a slot for micro sd card over here let me just insert the battery now and let's see if it has some charge and can we boot up the phone the back is made up of plastic uh, nothing exciting and uh, let me try to power on the phone the power on of button is on the top and i think so it does have some charge yes Though this is a budget phone, it packs a 800MHz processor, the RAM is 512MB and it also has a dedicated GPU that is the Adreno 200. So I would say it's a pretty decent config considering the budget price of this phone. And um, actually it uh, booted pretty fast and out of the box this phone comes with ice cream sandwich that's Android version uh, 4 and actually it was a pretty fast boot. Think so it'll take some time to initialize but let me give you an overview it says i'm going to use select english united states that's okay 
and it saves me to insert the sim card i'm going to do that later on but let's look at the settings let me see if it has ambient light sensor let's go to display brightness no sadly it does not have a ambient light sensor so you need to manually adjust the brightness let's also look at about the phone and as you can see it ships with android version 4.0.4 that's so that's pretty nice and uh, this is the home this is the interface that we get this is the standard timescape interface that we get on sony phones and uh, let me connect to my wi-fi now one second let's switch on wi-fi and it detected so let me just add my password and i'm connected also let's look at the internal storage meanwhile let's go to storage oops i'm clicking the wrong buttons and uh, it says the total space is 754 mb that's about 1 gb uh, out of that available is 608 mb again it is the in storage is divided into two parts we also have another part uh, of internal storage that is 2.15 gb so I don't think so you'll have a problem installing a lot of apps on this phone because we have ample storage and the fact that it can accept a micro sd card so that you can easily expand the storage so i think storage won't be an issue so let me get out of that and let's see uh, let's try to fire up the web browser and let's see how well we can browse let's try to do and it's asking me to enter the sim <laughs> let me go to tech2bus.com again i'm finding it a little bit difficult to type because uh, the screen is a little bit small to my liking and yes it did load the site pretty quickly i would say Kinetic scrolling is also pretty okay in my opinion. Let's try the pinch to zoom. It's okay. And uh, let's try a heavy side because tech to bus uh, is not a very heavy side. Let's go to Engadget. Get. Okay. And it's going to the mobile version. Let it load. Maybe my net connection is having some issues. So let's try to open this carbon story. Yeah, must be my net connection. So we'll test. Uh, I'll test the web browser later on in my detailed review. And actually, uh, Sony decided to put quite a few apps actually. And uh, we have music and videos app. We have this power save option extra. We have a FM radio, so that's interesting. And what else? What else? Um, we have Bollywood Hangama pre installed, Cricket Bus, Desi Matrani. We also have the Astro File Manager pre installed, so that's pretty nice. And even WhatsApp and PVR Cinema. So, some country specific apps have been pre installed on this uh, phone. And uh, before signing off this video, let me also give you a physical overview. On the top, we have this uh, power on-off button. We have this 3.5 mm headphone jack. And on this end, we have uh, the volume rocker. And what is this button? No SIM card. Uh, I think so. This is for switching this uh, between the SIM 1 and 2. So that's pretty handy. And uh, we have a lanyard. And on this side, we have a microphone. We have an indent to open the back cover itself and on this side we have the micro usb slot and nothing else the camera is a 3.15 megapixel so this is for the quick unboxing of the sony xperia tipo i'll be doing a full review of this phone so if you have any specific questions regarding this phone please post them in the comment section below that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video